What's up everyone? It's your boy Jermaine back with another walking tour video. Make sure you're at home watching this on your uh, 4K TV or your Oculus, the maximum settings on. Right now we are going to start at uh, Clement and Orguero. I'm, I'm probably butchering the name there. And uh, we're gonna do a walking tour of the inner Richmond a little bit. I haven't been down here and there's, there's quite a lot to see. This is part of the city that I don't usually come to. So this is kind of random. This is not like a place that, this is not like a place that I know a lot about. Um, I've definitely been here before, but I don't, uh, I don't know. I just don't really come out. So th this will be a, this will make up for a really, really good video. Cause I'll actually get to walk around instead of, you know, zoom by on the bike. If I'm not mistaken, this is like Chinatown 2.0 in the city. No, 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 never mind. This is not Chinatown 2.0. There, there's another part. I think it's uh, farther down. Yeah, so right now we are out in the avenues. And it's very, very different here. It's very flat, as you can see. Um, there's a lot of homes. Uh, you know, just regular two-story. There's a lot of two-story and three-story homes here. It's very, very popular. Here, you're not gonna find as many like taller buildings. You're gonna find like, you know, a little cool little. That looks like all funky, like from the 1970s. It looks like 1970s. filming this in the middle of the day so it's it's kind of quiet out i would imagine that you know in the in the dinner time evening time you know maybe these like these parklets here would be a little bit more busier but as of now it's uh like i said i'm filming this in the middle middle of the day look at that old school ace hardware store <laughs> that's like old school they don't make them like that y'all Look at that thing with, with the Tesla parked outside. <laughs> oh, it's a stunning day today. Another beautiful day in the city. I love this time change. Really, really, really like the time change. Look at this old school florist, yo. It looks like all like 1970s, yo. I love it. Like 60s, 70s, like back in the day. The cell wireless. <laughs> so unique here, yo. What is this, uh, California? It looks like that's a dispensary. I was gonna make a video um, showing dispensaries, but I felt that that would, would not be the best video for YouTube, so I decided not to make that dispensary video. That's like crazy bright, like the sun's like right over here. And that's kind of difficult when you're filming. You should be filming with the sun behind you, so that's why I'm on this side of the street. It is a stunning day out today, I tell you. Looks like this is a popular takeout spot. Oh, this is Burma Superstar. This is a very, very popular restaurant in the city. I don't know why I just like walked by it and <laughs> didn't really even pay it any attention. But yeah, I used to pick up on caviar. I used to pick up here quite a bit. Not anymore because I don't Uber Eats. I don't think I don't know if they have an account or Uber Eats. Man, look at this old school Asian market, you know? They got the 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 cooked ducks hanging in the window. You know, you got the. 
You got the guy sitting right there at the front playing the scratch off lotteries. They got the loser tickets hanging up there so you can see the loser tickets. <laughs> unique, unique, unique. Now this part of town, this part of the city is more like a little, it starts to get like Chinatown all of a sudden. I don't know if you guys just noticed, but like that first block wasn't like this block. Like now you see writing, you know, the Asian writing everywhere. I, it just switched like real quick. There's a really, really good Thai restaurant up here, by the way. I'm actually not gonna cross the street, but I just wanna kinda show you guys like, it kinda started this block, you know? Koje Kitchen, this is a popular place I picked up from quite a, quite a bit. Yeah, but now it's like, now we're like in a little, a different type of, um, a different type of Chinatown. This is like a more of a little miniature Chinatown. For, for a minute, I thought the miniature Ch Chinatown was farther down, like in the 20s, because right now we're still, we are at, uh, what is this? Uh, I think this is Fifth Street. Hmm, this place has got really great up with those tables up there like that. They say whatever works, yo, make it, make it, make it work. It looks like they use some more tables there too. <laughs> I thought you used tables to sit on, like they used them for to, to make a fence. Lots of flower shops out here. I've kind of noticed that. Lots of flower shops, yo. Maybe it's um, I don't know, just something I noticed. Maybe I should buy some flowers for my significant other. You know, once I was out here making deliveries and this was, this was a couple years ago. But I remember I made some delivery. This was when I was working for Google Shopping Express. But I made a delivery to one of these places over here. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find it again. I don't even know if it's open. It probably is. But basically, I went there, made this delivery. I was dropping off, like, I think a bag of flour or a bag of rice. Like, it was a really, really big bag, and it was something for... It was, it was like, something for a restaurant, you know? It wasn't, like, something going to someone's house. So I go to this place, and it was, um... It's a lot of these... Some of the food over here. See, it kind of reminds you of Chinatown a little bit. Like you can walk on the street and like see all the food and stuff, which is not vegan food, but I understand the majority of the people watching my videos are probably not vegan. But yeah, um, anyway, there is this place that I dropped the food off at. I dropped this big bag of, big bag of like rice or something like that, flour or something, I, I can't remember. And I, I go inside and it's like all these, um, all these older Asian men like maybe in their 50s, 60s. And they're all sitting around playing cards and they're just all having a really good time. Like a really good time. Like, they're, like there's multiple tables and like everybody's just sitting around just having a good time, like talking and just chilling and hanging out. Wow, look at all this stuff. Lots of plastic stuff. You need some Tupperware? Those actually look really, really nice. Oh, these, these big bands here. Hey man, How do much? your thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's also, I think this one's like, yo, that's not bad. No, these, that's what I was looking for, a little sandwich container, that's not bad. Some pretty cool stuff. So someone um, begged me to come out to come in. Okay, I'm finally here, sorry it took so long. You need a broom? I wonder this place on the corner, I wonder what this used to be like, what this used to be back in the day. It looks like it was like an old bank or something. That's a really cool looking building. But obviously it's not a it's not the same thing today. Yeah, I don't know, question. If anybody tell me what this used to be back in the day, my guess was it used to be like a bank or something. 
I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Maybe it was the library or something. It looks like it was something that was cool. And then now it's something else. For rent? Anybody need a place to rent? You know, I haven't seen many places for rent out here. I really haven't paid it too much attention. Well, holy cow, maybe I spoke too soon because that one looks like that. I don't know if that's for rent. Oh, it says closed Wednesday. I'm filming this. I don't know if I, these places are closed now. Now I'm starting to notice places that are not open. This is a very popular market here. You always see, um, always see a lot of people at. And you go inside, they have like fish and meat. I think they have like a lot of live fish and like they'll pull the oysters out of the water, that, that sort of thing. I think now a lot of people, they go down to the Fisherman's Wharf to get oysters. Cause you, you get like a better quality or something like that. This, is, um, this kind of reminds me of a couple of those shops in Oakland, you know? Cause they just have just tons of goods, you know? Tons of goods you walk in and it's like a maze, you know? We're not gonna go inside because I don't know. I mean, they're playing music and all that. Okay, now we are at 8th F and there's a really good Thai restaurant right down here. It's called Thai Tom. I'll actually walk down and show it to you guys because uh, I've definitely gotten Thai food from here quite often. It's a really, really good place. I thought it was really close to the Smart and Final, but it looks like the Smart and Final is a couple blocks away. I haven't got food from here in a while. When I had a car, I would, I would come here and get food all, all the time because I had a car. But on a bike, I don't just come here because if I come here on a bike, it's like I'm already hungry and this is pretty far from my house to just go have a plate of rice, you know, <laughs> with vegetables. Like I'm gonna pass by plenty of other vegan Asian places along the way. So it's kind of one I don't really go to often, you know, just because it's, it's just kind of off the beaten path. And when I had a car, I wouldn't mind driving out here because parking wasn't so bad. You could always like illegally park out front and run inside and grab the food. And of course, I would always like place an order, call and place an order. Look at those mini bananas. Those are Thai bananas. I haven't seen those for a while. Those are actually very, very inexpensive. I don't know if you eat the whole thing. I think you, you have to throw out more of the banana more of the peel look at all those onions you need some onions look at all them oranges yo you know what i want to you know what i'm about to say they be selling oranges around here yo man i'm a lot oh, big oranges there oh those are the same ones i oh, look at this park lit area this looks really cool it looks really cool and it doesn't even look like, it, it almost feels like you're in um, a, a back patio with, with the fence, you know? I kinda like it, I kinda like it, I think it's dope. I, I wonder if those people over there like it, you know, and there's people out partying late at night, because you gotta think before the pandemic, you didn't have all these, these bars out, you know? Everyone was inside, and now you got all these people out in the street. So if you, you know, live across the street, you know, your bedroom window is here, now you gotta, you know, deal with people partying on the weekends, you know, getting loud. I mean, it could be, it could be a thing. It could be annoying um, or, or I don't know, maybe people are respectful and they're very, very quiet, but usually that's not the case, especially when you have people, you know, drinking. When people, when you have people drinking, they're just gonna, they'll get loud without even realizing it, you know? Something else I've noticed, you don't see as many homeless people here. But you definitely see something. You know, you don't, like I said, you don't see a lot, but they, you see a few, you know. Looks like we have another abandoned place here. There's, like I said, there's not a lot of, I haven't noticed that many, that many closures until we get like farther down, you know. But in a neighborhood like this, it's very local. Like a lot of these businesses, like are businesses that like people that live around, you know, they're gonna use. 
So you're not going to have as many of those going out of business like you have in downtown Soma, where all of that traffic is, uh, you know, people coming from outside of the city. It's completely different traffic. Donuts. We sell donuts like everywhere around here, y'all. We got a little photo shoot going on across the street. It's so nice to see the tourists back, you know? It, it's so nice to see the tourists back. You know, they're all happy and always taking photos and they're loud and let's do this, let's do that. You know, you always got a map and always doing this and doing that and it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's different. This, and it brings the city back to life because before, <laughs> I mean, you just go places and just not, don't see a lot of people out, you know. But now it's not like that. Yeah. It's definitely coming more alive. Look at this place. I don't know if that's anything like important, but it looks pretty grand, you know? Like all this. The architect out front looks very different. Like it looks like it's from another country for sure. All this metal, this shiny metal stuff, you know? I don't know, maybe it's nothing at all, but it looks like it's pretty, looks pretty cool. This place right here, this reminds me of this uh, hidden bar I went to in Hong Kong. Uh, totally, I think that, that round window it totally reminds me of it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cross. There's not that many places over there. I'm gonna cross and we're gonna go back down, but we're gonna go the other way. Look how beautiful that is straight ahead. Paramount Superstars. That's got a different look to it. Yeah, this side is a little bit more sunnier. Oh wow, look at this gold building across the street. It's all fancy and painted on the bottom. And then up top it looks a little grungy. You know? I, I just a little bit. I mean, it's not that bad, but... Show sure don't look polished. <laughs> it does not look polished. And then what is this over here? I want to say, I could be wrong, but I want to say... This used to be a movie theater or a Walgreens. I know that's kind of the, um, it's very, very opposite, you know. I think this used to be a movie theater. If someone could put that in the comments, or you know what that could have been? That could have been a CVS. It, it, it could have been, or it could have been a Walgreens. We have a lot of those stores missing from our city now. And honestly, I think that they're blaming it on shoplifting. But I think it's, I, I think the shoplifting was the problem that they came about and they, they pointed the finger on shoplifting. I think that they're about to go pull some strings, they're about to go pull a rabbit out of a hat and do something different soon. 
There's the place with all the oranges. They still got oranges out there, so if y'all need some oranges, come on down here and grab some oranges. If they got them in the big boxes waiting outside. I wonder how much a big box costs. I mean, if they're like $2 a pound, you know, a box could be, could be like 50 bucks, you know. Check out this bar. This is a pretty cool bar off to the right. Richmond Republic Draft House. You know, one thing I wish I could tell you is places to, you know, cheap, get cheap drinks here, you know? When I make these videos, I kind of want to make them on the fly. Like, I don't want to sit around and do three hours of research before I make a video. Like, I just want to, you know, pop one of these videos in the middle of the day when, when I got some free time in between some apps or right before I go to a job, you know? So if you guys know, like, a place around here, you know, with, uh, you know, the good, the good specials, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll, I may, maybe, I'll go over and give it a test drive or give it a tryout. Another, we got another one of these shops of, with these long school, these old school long signs out front. I love how these restaurants just get their car going and it just sits right here on the street for a second. You know, it, it gives it that, that busy feel. You know what I mean? Like it, in New York, that's, very, that's, a big, that's a very popular thing where you, you're walking down the street in some neighborhoods and you just see them unloading trucks and it's just sitting out there on the street. You know, it just gives it that busy feel, you know. Uh, and then also, you also got to think about what they're selling. You're selling produce. A place like that, you know, a place with all the oranges, they may have sold a large chunk of those oranges within a couple hours, you know? You just get a lot of people come through, you know, everybody, you know, get a couple of oranges. <laughs> Pretty soon you went through 10 boxes. <laughs> Taiwan restaurant. Oh, it's like super bright whenever I point the camera in this direction. It's a fabric store. It's pretty cool. Like if you were into sewing, you know? This looks like one of those places you go inside and there's like a whole bunch of businesses. You know how you go to Chinatown and you, you, you go inside and there's like hundreds of like little small shops inside? That's what that kind of looks like. The name of this place is China First. <laughs> I wanted to have good food. What about them prices, yo? Is it expensive? Let me know in the comments if you think it's expensive. Oh, here we go. The vegetarian and vegan one. Oh, I guess the prices aren't that bad. Vegetable and vegetarian, not, not vegan. Ve vegetable and vegetarian. A lot of uh, Asian restaurants, they don't say vegan. Like, a lot of them don't say vegan. But a lot of times when they say, 
vegetarian, depending on if it's Chinese or Thai or whatever. A lot of times if they say, well, sometimes if they say vegetarian, what that pretty much means is, you know, it, there's, there's no meat in it. And like I say, it really depends on what particular country it's from. Like if it's Thailand, they may put no meat in it, but it's still cooked in fish oil, which would make it not vegan. But on the flip side, if you get it from a Chinese restaurant, they usually don't cook in fish oil. They usually cook in some sort of plant-based oil, you know? So, you know, you just get like, you would get just rice and vegetables and you wouldn't have, um, you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't have to worry about it. But you also need to confirm with like the, 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 the store because I've been to some restaurants, they just do it different, you know? I've went to some restaurants and they put cheese in the falafels, right? And it's like, dang, usually falafels don't have cheese in them, you know? But then at this one restaurant, that's just how they do it. So it's just something to, you know, it's something to throw out there. Yeah, it's just something I, I always notice, like from different countries. Oh, dang, look at this. It's like one of those water things, like right there on the side of the street. I'm trying to think where else do I see that at? You know where else I see that at? I see that in, there's one of those in Chinatown I've noticed. I'm trying to remember where, but there's a place in Chinatown where I see that same exact water thing where you can fill your bottle when it's on the street. That's a really good idea. They should be like all over the city, but for some reason I've only seen it in Chinatown. Like we got, oh, this is like a little Irish bar. Oh, oh it looks like it's open. I may have to go in and get a Guinness. <laughs> no, no, not right now. It's a little too early. And St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a big party. And also, I tell you something else I noticed about this, uh, this neighborhood. You see a lot of kids out here. Not a lot, but you you definitely see more kids than you do in other parts of the city. There's a lot of parts of the city you like never see kids. It's very, very common. Looks like I'm going to wrap this video up. I've uh, sort of made kind of like a loop to a certain degree. But anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And peace out, yo. Peace out, everyone. <laughs>